Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome back. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another video, Sagittarius. If you happen to be new here, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Sagittarius, I missed you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic cancer season. Take some time and treat yourself to some ice cream, Sagittarius. Go to the spa. Yes, go, go do something that you want to do for yourself because I feel like I'm speaking to a Sagittarius mother that does everything for her family, okay? Make sure you treat yourself, Sagittarius. Yes, like the video, guys. Share the video. Leave me some comments in the comments section, Sagittarius. It looks like fate is playing out here. Yeah, with the will here, take the message how it resonates, okay? With the will and the star coming out for you, Sagittarius, God could definitely be thrusting you upon the world stage, perhaps. You're meant to be a celebrity. Or you have a certain, de um, you have a certain definity and calling here. You know, most star seeds are famous celebrities. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm hearing a lucrative business opportunity. You're currently um, in that energy or you will be in that energy at some point. I see the age of 55, 35, 38. 18 you were offered a contract the age of 18 perhaps 23 years old Sagittarius lucrative business opportunities mm -hmm. you know the energy been coming up it's been coming up it's been coming up so take this particular message how it resonates congratulations on your wish fulfillment your blessings your wealth your fame your popularity you could be Sagittarius you could be a household name I'm hearing Christina Applegate I love Christina Applegate I believe she played on that show in the 90s, right? Married with children. She's a world famous Sagittarius actress, okay? Her energy is coming through. Yes, God could be making your name a household name, Sagittarius, you know? Or he already has done that. Let's go ahead and dive into this message, but congratulations on your success, Sagittarius. Yeah, the star card, it seems like it's something about Aquarius. And Sagittarius. It's like Aquarius always shows his head in your reading, Sagittarius. Perhaps you're meant to marry an Aquarius. Okay, you could have significant Aquarius placements in your chart. But it seems to be that way. Over our energies, we got the Queen of Pentacles. There's some sort of indication of some sort of fame and notoriety or future success or current success with the Queen of Pentacles. That's what the High Priestess is saying. She's a money magnet. He's a money magnet. He's a manifester. She's a manifester. They're manifesting their wish fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. You could have re relocated or you could be thinking about relocating. Sagittarius, I see an RV. You could live in a camper or you just like to travel. Perhaps your parents travel around the world. Sagittarius, let me know if this is resonating. At some point in the next few years, you could relocate. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles. That represents our angel Michael for me. He's been with you, okay, from the very beginning, honey. From the very beginning. There's a Sagittarius mother here. You have a son here. His name is Michael. Okay, I don't know if you recently had him. He's no more, he's no older than six months, eight months. Okay, this could be when your son was little. His name is Michael. His energy is coming through. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. You could have lost a child too, Sagittarius. I want you to know that you're not alone. Father God is with you. And our angel Michael, he's with you as well. Our heavenly father and archangel Michael, they come out together here and, and lending of their support to you. That's the Ace of Swords truth, Sagittarius. This could be you losing your parents at a young age or you having to go through difficult transitions since you were young, baby. Take the reading how it resonates. That's what the tower is saying. There was some confusion with you growing up. Perhaps you bounced between your mother and your father, your grandmother, your grandfather. You, you were raised in a foster care. Your auntie raised you. There seems to be some confusion here in your upbringing here. Period. We got the Page of Wands. I see Sagittarius on the phone with her friends. His friends. They're making plans. Okay. Mm. I see a hardworking business woman here. That's a mother. I picked up on that energy right away. The energies don't lie. Sagittarius mother is here mm-hmm yes our Heavenly Father is with you yes we got the three of cups oh Sagittarius are you drinking too much that energy is here possibly when you were younger you got yourself in trouble here drinking too much driving all that energy is here God has always been with you 
there was a significant passing, possibly your mother or your father here. That that ancestor is with you. You could have got rebellious after this, started doing um, destructive things. And there's an adult named Michael, Sagittarius male, that's coming through. You got the five of pentacles and the five of wands. At some point, you could have been rebellious or you could have acted out, which caused you to take financial losses. It could have, it could have, you, you could have got sent, you could have got sentenced to juvenile, the juvenile justice center here, Sagittarius. You could have did some time in juvie. Okay. Mm -hmm. The energies are here, Sagittarius. Take the reading how it resonates, beautiful love bug. We got the two of wands. I definitely see Sagittarius on the phone with her family, her mother, her sister, okay, his dad, his brother. Mm -hmm. his best friend Sagittarius energy business contracts with the will of fortune these are people that are meant to these are people that you're meant to encounter here on the earth with the will of fortune and the queen of swords the will of fortune and the queen of swords that's the ancestor that's coming out and the temperance card I see two ancestors four, four to six ancestors you know Sagittarius they always show up for you baby there's an ancestor, your mother in particular, she crossed over. She's if, if she is an ancestor, most certainly she's crossed over, Sagittarius. She's watching over you specifically when you're sleeping. She could have been a Leo. This could be your father, your grandfather, your auntie, your daddy. We got the nine of cups. There's something that this ancestor knows that you want, and they know that you've been manifesting, and they see you working towards it. There's a judgment call that's been made to go in your favor. You're going to get it. Sagittarius may have decided to walk away from something here. And she could be facing some legal situations or, you know, she wanted to leave something. It looks like you're going to be free from it, okay, or something like that. Or you were free from it. Yes. This could be some mental anguish here. You could be going through a spiritual battle or you're going through something that you just want to be free from. It looks like the, uh, the, ancestors, are, the ancestors are saying you're going to be free from it. There's a Sagittarius Empress here that's very victorious. Mm -hmm. with the six of wands and the lover's card perhaps there's a love connection that Sagittarius is exhausted with today possibly an Aquarius here possibly a Cancer maybe even a Leo Sagittarius is like I'm just at my wit's end with this situation I'm stressed the fuck out we don't communicate how we used to communicate you're holding back I'm holding back the money ain't looking good we just not we're not clicking here the ancestors see this Sagittarius there's a Sagittarius Emperor and Empress on the board this could be your husband and, and, and uh, this could be your wife showing up for the reading, Sagittarius. Baby mama, baby daddy, your living partner, your spouse, your significant other. Okay. This could be, um, this emperor could be the ancestor that's watching over you and seeing the betrayal and the heartbreak and the pain that you're going through in a connection or that you went through in a connection. Period. We got the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Wands. It's like it's like Sagittarius, you may have had a partner that made, they, they did things without consulting you, or they, they got you in things without consulting you. And you got tired of that shit. We got the Justice card and the Two of Cups. Uh huh. Sagittarius has a true love with the Two of Cups. I feel like this is our Heavenly Father. He loves us. And with the Justice card showing up, Sagittarius, he's going to make something right here for you. Period. The Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius has an Ace of Pentacles. So Sagittarius is an earth angel that has a special affinity and mission here on the earth that has an ace of pentacles. It's her birthright. It's his birthright. It's part of his, this inheritance, this ace of pentacles, it belongs to Sagittarius because it's meant to be for Sagittarius. They're living fluently and operating fluently out of the energies that God called them to live here with, okay? Sagittarius is living and operating fluently out of her north node energy, out of his north node energy. Part of living and operating fluently out of your north node energy, God will release the Ace of Pentacles for his people. That includes wish fulfillment here. Wealth, that, that includes wealth and fame, popularity, becoming a household name. It's destined to happen. It's fated to happen. There is some turning point that will happen at some point, Sagittarius. Hang in there. Things are going to work out in your favor. Mm -hmm. You know how I know, Sagittarius? Because we're soulmates, period. And I just know. Because I see the Six of Swords, because I see the Six of Swords, that represents our spiritual team. Your divine ancestors are here, baby. Your guardian angels are here. Our Heavenly Father is here. Our Angel Michael is here. Our Angel Gabriel is here. Our Angel Chamiel is here. Our Angel Azrael. Our Angel Raphael, they're here. Sagittarius is a twin flame. The Three of Wands indicating the partnership that she has spiritually already, or she will, or he will have. 
in a physical reality with their divine counterpart. The world indicating these two have a contract to be, they contracted in, they contracted here to be together, okay? They individually Sagittarius and her person or his person, they individually have different missions. But together they have a dynasty that they're meant to have together. We got the Page of Cups, that's the offer here. Sagittarius female, I feel like your masculine is single. He could be an Aries. Yes. Sagittarius male, I feel like your feminine could be single, but there's some shady shit going on with this Aquarius behind the scenes. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's an Aquarius energy. The energy don't lie in the star card. I'm right on the money. Wow. It's like I feel the energy of an ex or somebody that still has some lingering feelings towards Sagittarius or Sagittarius still feeling some type of way about somebody that they're not with. Period. With the two of swords. Wow, Sagittarius is working hard to be free from this situation or they worked hard to get free from it and they're not going to go back to it. That's just facts. I'm picking up on Offset. You know, Offset, you know, he's a world famous Sagittarius rapper. He says, my kids got to have money too. Not just me. That's just selfish, okay? There's a Sagittarius male here that's family oriented. We got the Seven of Wands, very protective of his family. Sagittarius male has a Queen of Cups. His true love is a queen of cups. That's his empress. Period. The ace of wands indicating a Sagittarius male. The energies don't lie. The five of swords indicating some sort of shit going on in the background. I feel like, just like Virgo, just like the Virgo male, you know? Just like the Virgo male. Sagittarius male got somebody too, just like Virgo. Who is these women? This man got a whole nother family. I feel like this Sagittarius man is married. He's living with someone, he's in love with someone, he has a whole nother family, or he has a whole nother situationship that he's going towards. And there's somebody in the background here that's like a devil here, behind the scenes. The devil in the moon card and the five of swords, that's a fucking war. And how are they doing this? Through magic, with magic, okay? Somebody wants to cause uh, problems for a Sagittarius male. Virgo male too. We got the seven of pentacles, all the male, all the emperors, okay? Most of the emperors have some issues just like the empress, the empresses, okay? Yes, we got the seven of pentacles and the eight. Somebody has been doing magic on a Sagittarius male for a long time. Or they've been in the background trying to manifest this powerful superstar into their life. And they're going about it in the most toxic way. With the devil here, they're obsessed with this Sagittarius male, possibly his wealth, his fame. His popularity, his money, okay, his favor. We got the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups. There's a female behind the scenes that's drinking herself silly. That's for sure. We got the King of Cups, Sagittarius male. Mm -hmm. This person is in a Ten of Wands energy over you, stressing the fuck out with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands, carrying heavy burdens. You don't see them. They're, this person is giving me like a fan. They're like your number one fan or a groupie. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius male. Sagittarius male is a ten of the ten of coins. He's abundant. He he travels in style. He has a luxury car. He has people that drive for him. Or he he could have a Toyota or a Hyundai. Okay, but he has a ten of pentacles that's always going to be with him. That's his energy. He's abundant. Okay, Sagittarius female just hang in there, baby. She's the queen of wands. Sagittarius female is the queen of wands. Okay, it don't get no sexier, no, it don't get no more sexier, no more, it don't get no more psychic, sexier, beautiful, passionate, bold, ferocious than the freaking Queen of Wands. Sagittarius woman is all of that. Uh-huh. She has a strong connection to a Leo and an Aquarius. These are two lifelong soulmates that she's meant to be with or encounter, period. Okay, we got the Five of Swords indicating with the star card, there's an Aquarius that she's meant to be with or an Aquarius that's pining in the background. He still feels some type of way over her. She's an earth angel. He wants to communicate. He's been crying over you, Sagittarius female. It could be because of your abundance here. Mm-hmm. Your Ace of Pentacles. She's successful. She's in a judicial system, perhaps. She's left his ass, perhaps. She got tired of holding on to an illusion. That's all it was, Sagittarius woman. She walked away. Sagittarius female is the queen of wands. Again, she's walked away from a third party situation that was not beneficial or she will be. She's getting tired of it with the five of wands. The judgment card came out to say that she's been delaying this inevitable ending, possibly to try to save face in the community or to spare his feelings. I don't know, but she's going to make her move or she made her move at the right time. The ancestors are watching over this. There go Archangel Michael and the two of coins. There's an ancestor, Archangel Michael, are vehemently watching and protecting over you, Sagittarius female. We got the seven of pentacles. She's been 
the eight of this this could be Sagittarius female could be free from this person and this this person is stuck on her okay that could simply be the energy here with the eight of swords this person is still very heavily sexually attracted to you and they drink heavily Sagittarius they're single okay period I see a father coming through, an ancestor, a male ancestor coming through for a Sagittarius female. I see Father God showing up. There's the male ancestor. He's in your energies. The energies don't lie. There's an emperor, male ancestor. There's a female ancestor, the empress. The energies don't lie. They're watching over your house, Sagittarius female. There's our Heavenly Father. He's victorious, and you're going to be victorious. Okay, I see the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Somebody have been stressing out a Sagittarius female. We got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Coins, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Sagittarius, Sagittarius female embodies all the queens. She's an empress. Wow. We got the High Priestess. Sagittarius is an empress, high priestess, temperance, powerful star being. She's from another planet, okay? She's lending her energy here on the earth. We should, be all, we should all be grateful and appreciative that we have this type of energy in our energetic space collective. Thank you, Sagittarius female, for your amazing contributions to God's world. Your enemies will face the wrath of God for what they've done to you. Okay, Sagittarius, if you want to go further, I'm available. God bless.